Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's a Neki Giraffe and in this video we're going to be making this shipping container monstrosity thing. Anyway, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to need a location, aren't we? Aye, with most effort we are. And for this one, I've decided to build here just near New Gad and I think that's a pigsty there, but I could be bloody wrong. We're going to start off by putting down our shipping containers. We're going to stack them into an L shape with the top one overhanging. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You may be wondering to yourself, TNG, why should I bother even buying these shipping containers? I could just get the Mega Mansion and have a similar structure, you know, already done for me? Well, my answer to that would be, yeah, you 100% correct. But personally, I like to cause myself a vast amount of emotional damage trying to come up with these builds. So the easy route, well, that's just not an option. Once you stack your shipping containers on top of each other like this, just go and let your partner know that you're not going to be available for the next three or four hours. If they ask you why, just inform them that you're a masochist and you're trying to wind up two overly priced virtual items. You may want to add a couple of hours to that as well if you've bought an equally overpriced gaming console like I have, because because guess what guys, today's the day you may get stick drift on your controller and if it doesn't happen today, it bloody well will at some point. There you go, something for you to look forward to and FYI, throwing your controller at the wall does not fix it, it breaks it into a million fucking pieces. But I suppose it's cheaper than therapy. Anyway, what were we up to? Ah yeah, building tutorial. Once you've spent several precious hours that you're never going to get back on this earth winding up your shipping containers, you're going to take a flamethrower trap and you're going to burn the shit out of the bottom container. You're then going to walk through the glowing outline of the container and we're going to put a foundation down. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're going to hide some stairs in here because there's not going to be any stairs to get in this build. We're going to make a ladder. I mean it's totally non-functional but yeah the thoughts are in it. It is going to take a bit of messing about this. You want the bottom of the stairs just sticking out the container a little bit and also you've got to take into account the foundation height as well. I did it a little bit too high in this and you'll see that later on in the video but the general rule of thumb is keep the foundation as low as you can and get the foundation as far back to the end of the container as you possibly we can as well. Is this making any sense to you? Nope, probably isn't. Right then, once you've got your stairs in, you've got to realise that you can't actually put a floor on them unless you destroy the shipping container that you've just repaired, so just go ahead and destroy that again. Mm-hmm, yep, simply, simply counterproductive. Yep, okay, and then once that's done, just slap a wall down on top of it. Use any wall your buddy want, it really doesn't matter. Once your wall's in, hit repair on the bottom container, and look at that, you see, isn't that glorious? We now have a doorway on our container, you know, like we should have had when we actually bought the containers but that's absolutely fine. You can always count on the loyal community to fix Bethesda's oversights. What we've got to do now is put down a half floor walkway all around our build and what you're going to find is you can't do it with this bottom container in place so let's just destroy that again and in doing so waste more resources. This may sound like a bad thing but for us long term players it's actually good because it allows us to go out and grind for more resources which is a lot more fun than brand new content. I mean imagine wanting brand new and exciting things to do in a game that you pulled so much time into. How fucking stupid would that be? Anyhow, once you've put your floors in, you should be left with something like this. Isn't it magical? Nope, not at all. Before we mess around with some pores, let me just show you what I mean about the foundation height with them stairs on it. As you can see, the floor's sticking up a little bit above the container. That's because I'm an idiot and put the foundation too high up. If that's something that's going to bother you, then just check your levels when you're putting them stairs in. And just as a quick visual reference, that's how you want the stairs to be, just sticking out the container a little bit. Anyway, back to the pores my wands. I'm going to be using the glitch where you can put the pores down anywhere. This is one of those friendly community fixes that are on about and it was recently just removed from the game but thank god Bethesda have actually put it back in. Now I'm not going to go into details on how to make this blueprint, there's countless videos on YouTube on how to do it so I'll leave a floaty card up in top corner now. And just as a quick heads up, when you do make this blueprint and try and place it down here, it will be red but just mash that button and it will go down, don't worry about it. However, on the right hand side of the container you may have to remove the R4 balcony thing, put down the post and then put the R4 back in. In. It just works. Once we've pissed around doing that, we need to put down some defensive railings. We don't want to go arse over Tate and fall into what was once the lake, do we? While it would be a welcome release, it's not exactly ideal. We're going to start off by removing the top post off our post blueprint thing that we've just put down. We're then going to destroy our top shipping container for the 97th time this video. We're then going to place down a full-size railing on our little walkway and then we should, emphasis on the should part, be able to snap a half railing onto the one that we've just put down. Beautiful. And then we could just go all the way around our little walkway putting down railings easy as that now this is why i said at the beginning try and get your floors at the same height as a container see our little railings there the floating and at this point there's literally bugger all we can do about it so you know just bear that in mind what we can do now is go and fix our mess that we caused on the other side we're going to destroy this half defensive railing thing with a flamethrower trap put in another stair post so that's all completed again repair the railing repair the container and you should be left with something like this right then so now we're on to the time consuming part making the ladders 
Mods. I went out to do this from Rotomon. I'll leave a link down in the description. But yeah, I'll show you the condensed version of it. We're going to make a semicircle using these two small little conduits here. Yeah, beautiful. And from these, we can stick up some of those massive Tall Boy 5000 conduits. And they're going to be like the side bits for our ladder. We're then going to start stacking these tables on top of each other. These give the perfect gap between the conduits we're going to be using. We can then put a conduit on the table and we can use said table to adjust how that conduit sits. For the first couple of ladder rungs, you'll be able to move the conduit itself on the table, but as you get higher up, it'll start giving you shit, so then you'll have to use the table itself to move the conduit about. Sounds bloody complicated, but you'll see what I mean once you start doing it. Now, once you've got the conduit sitting where you want it to sit, snap another conduit to the side of it. That's very, very important. That's going to act as your placeholder when we remove these tables. And now it's just a case of repeating the process. Conduit on the table, table on top of the ones you've already got stacked, and just keep working your way up. I'll cut away and do it now, and I'll show you what you should be left with. And there you go. It should be something like that. Simply, simply lovely. From here, we can start deleting all these tables. That'll take the conduits with it as well, but it'll leave the ones that we put in as placeholders down the side. I think you can see where this is going, can't you? If you can't see where it's going, then please somebody insert a poor eyesight metaphor or pun in here, please, because my brain's too fried to think of one at this moment. But yeah, what you want to be doing is just snapping conduits to the placeholders. You can then remove the placeholders, and lo and behold, you've got a ladder. Beautiful. And that's pretty much our whole entire build done. We do need to cover them stairs up at the end, so all I'm doing is using a junk defensive wall and just spinning it round. That covers it up nicely, and it fits in with the build, doesn't it? Nope, it really doesn't. But how does the phrase go? Beggars can't be rich men? I don't know, it's something along them lines. And while we're here, we might as well throw some power in, haven't we? And we've got this big, dirty, useless container here, so let's destroy it for the 98th time and place down one of the smokeless bad boys, the vault Tech Generator. It's only going to need one of these. Mm-hmm, yep, put a conduit on the roof, run a wire to it, and hey, presto, you've got power for all your build. I'm going to cut away now, I'll show you some footage of the thing decorated, and I'll be back in a second. There you go, jobs are good him. What do you reckon about that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Nope, it's got a face only a mother can love, but we like different on this channel. Anyway, that is it from me. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing an half-decent job. And if you want to see more Weekly Fallout 76 content, hit that subscribe button too. And also hit that bell button because YouTube is bloody useless for notifying you that I've uploaded a video. Saying that, however, it's probably a blessing in disguise, isn't it? I shall catch you in the next one. Much love.